Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel. My name is Rachel, I am French Canadian from Ontario, Canada, and uh, I've been selling on eBay for about 22 years on and off, but recently I retired, yay! So now I can do this passion full time and I'm very much enjoying this. So I like to go thrifting in garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores, and I flip them for profit on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. So come along with me for the ride. Hope you enjoy the videos. Subscribe so you'll get notification when a new video comes out. Hello everyone. So for our first video today, we're going to go to Value Village, which is like a Goodwill in the US. I am looking forward to finding some nice treasures and share them with you. And uh, let's go do it. Allons-y. So we'll start with the clear glass aisle. I don't really buy many glasses that are clear. They just don't do that well for me. But look at these are interesting. They look like candy canes. They're light, very lightweight though, I can tell. Yeah. Frosted glass and oh, $4.99 for both. I'll put those back. Keep on going. They have many, many glasses. It just goes to show if they stay there, it's because they are not selling. Oh, these are like, they look like whiskey glasses. Gold trim. Yeah, that's the Crown Royal logo, I think. Yep, that's what it is. But the gold is, yeah, it's been it kind of rubbed off a little bit. Then $4.99 for both. Yeah, we'll leave those. Moving on to the glass bowls. We have quite a bit, but this, this doesn't belong here. Is it wood? Oh, wait, no. Uh, no, it's not wood. Oh. Yeah, oh, totally plastic. That's a shame. I would have totally got that if it was wood. Beautiful piece. Oh well, so long, my friend. So now in the serving accessories, nice little dishes. Again, clear glass, not my favorite. Your compote. That's really cute. And now I'll think about it. Different little ones, big ones. Oh, oh, this is cute, but not the quality I want. But next to it, look at this. Oh, this looks like a little boat. Well, oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, and the price is okay, so I'm getting this. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little chip, I think right here on the edge look yeah oh, that's sad I love that oh well yeah very sharp cruising along I see this cute picture oh but look at this the paint is all gone oh, another sad story And this is interesting as well. It's a little serving dish, plain white, made of ceramic, three ninety nine. Oh, nice gold feet. Gold is intact. Be nice on the dining room table for relish or sour cream for your potatoes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. I see coffee pots, teapots. This is a lovely little bowl for Easter. Christmas set. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. And it's made in Germany. I love the glaze, the colors. And oh, another chip, just my luck. Moving on, I have to look away. Is this corning? Uh, no, no, it's not. 
These are bigger pieces. Oh, this is nice for fall or Thanksgiving. But, my God, it looks heavy. It's heavy. Oh, I don't see myself shipping this. <laughs> Cream and sugar sets. Little vintage plates. Oh, I love this cream and sugar set. I love gold, can't you tell? <laughs> but there's no cover on this sugar bowl. So without the complete set, I'm going to leave that there. That one is too much damage to it. Okay, I don't know exactly what this is. Okay, okay, it may be something I've never used, but it's modern. I don't know. I'm just not sure enough. I love this, but I don't know. Should I get it? There's no, no brand. I always prefer to get branded things so people really know what they're buying because we don't really have a, a way of really finding out the value of things. We've got candles, plates, bowls, an array of miscellaneous things, a runaway teapot. Oh, that's a cute little dish. Hmm, I don't know. When I'm not sure of something, I just put it back. If I'm making a mistake, you guys will let me know. Oh, that's uh, porcelain flowers, lots of damages. I like this little dish. I love the design. It can be a little trinket dish for pocket change or a ring. There's a mark at the bottom. I don't think it's going to make a big difference. But the goal is intact. Yeah, I think I'll get that. Yep. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's not a flat surface. What is it supposed to hold? I'm confused. So in my intro, I forgot to tell you that it's Tuesday today. So it's 30% off on Tuesdays for senior citizen. I am over 60, so I'm taking advantage of it. Oh, I see some. Oh, no, I thought it was copper, but it's not the best quality. This, on the other hand, is very cute. Is it a compote? What is it? Maybe there's supposed to be a lid to it. It's got a bird hatch on it and, and gold leaves. It's in very good condition. I'm taking a chance. This is a very nice bowl, very heavy. I'm interested, but what is that? Wait. Oh yeah, that's a crack. That is a crack. We'll leave it there. One thing I'd like to mention to any American viewers today is that if you purchase from my store, it is all listed in Canadian dollars. Therefore, it becomes quite a bit cheaper for you guys as uh, the American dollar is uh, worth more than the Canadian. So a $20 item will cost you between $14 and $15. And also this applies to the shipping rate. So it's a good deal for you guys, so uh, take advantage of it. So while I was babbling about the Canadian and American dollar, um, I'm looking at mugs, always on the hunt for a nice Starbucks mug. Um, I don't see any right now. Checking everything. Oh, that's a Bailey's, but I think there's only one. 
I prefer to get mugs in pairs. It sells better. Moving on to another aisle, cute little grapes, no value there. Oh, I like this, this is lovely. Hmm, could put a little plant in it or some little decorated eggs for Easter. And it seems to be crystal, $4.99. Let's put that in the cart. Keep on checking the shelves. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, a flattened bottle. Spoon rest. Oh, that's a lovely mug again. Oh, if there was two of them, but I don't know, should I? Would that sell only one of them? Isn't that lovely? What a cheese platter, shape of a mouse, white ceramic. $4.99, let's get that. This is nice. A summer sandals dish with a matching knife. I don't know if that would be popular enough. It's modern. MSC ceramic, four ninety nine. Hmm. But the knife has a little chip, so we'll put this back. Decision has been made. Okay, this, oh, those are placemats, probably from Pimpernel. There's a little white kitty and daisies. Back is cork. Seems to be in good order. The thing is that, now I'll put those back. The thing is that it's, um, I have some in my stores already and it's not selling as well as I thought it would. Now we have some vases and planters. They sell better in the springtime here. Nice big vase full of colors. This is nice. I like the ruching of effect of the glass. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that, yes. Metal fish decor. Very thin. Oh, this nice face. Made of brass. Hitch. Pattern. Has a good weight. $3.99. Let's put that in my cart. And this I have uh, put in the basket off camera. It, I, be I believe it's a pillar candle holder. Here we are in the red section. All kinds of different things. This is a nice vase. Hmm. $5.99. That's a lot for this. We'll be thinking about that. This is nice. Oh, different things. 
Hmm. Is that a trivet? It's long. It's two tiles. Oh, they've been connected together. Interesting. Four ninety nine. Hmm. Oh, I like this very much. Four ninety nine, definitely vintage. Gold. Okay, it has a little nick at the edge, but overall, very nice. Let's put that here. Sometimes I need to take chances on certain things. If I pass it up and someone could love it even though there's a little nick. Walking Dead Tumblr. Hmm, $3.99. That's a little too much for a tumbler. Here we are in the wood section, mask, large utensil. Oh, I have one of those already. It needs a cover. It has a, yeah, like a lid that's all carved, beautiful piece. But this one is missing the lid, so it's staying there. Here we are in pots and pans, which is not my forte, but I always like to look in case I find Le Creuset. You never know, and these things are worth quite a bit of money. This is a lovely little cast iron skillet shaped like a gingerbread man. I think I'll get that for my granddaughters. They love to do pancakes shaped like different things. So, this is a personal buy. Bags, 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 and more bags. I just don't have the patience or the time to go through all of those. It's overwhelming, actually. And here we have linens, placemats. I really like to look for the ones that are different looking or um, vintage, obviously with embroidery or needlepoint. These are nice. Nice needlework on that with a little lace contour. Peach. Oh, lovely pink ones. Scalloped edge. How many do we have here? Three ninety nine for four. Four here too. So that's a set of eight. I think I'm gonna get those. Here's some more placemats, napkins. This one is very nice. Oh, there's a spot, okay. So unfortunately, we'll put those back. Keep on looking a little bit more. I like these. Look at the, the work on the edge. It's linen, beautiful needlepoint. It's a set of four. We'll take those. Here we are in the crafting and knitting department. Some cross stitching projects. I prefer to get the ones that are new. This seems to be new. Five ninety nine. Hmm. What is this? 
cross stitch um, been open I don't know if everything is there same here and $7.99 that's a little hefty for me That's lovely. Again, the bag has been opened, so if something is missing, I'd hate to sell that and have it returned. Oh, I see a cat. It's a latch and hook set, $3.99. It says it's complete. I shall uh, trust that. And I will take that. So this is part of the haul. If you remember, I got this, didn't know exactly what it was. With a little bit of research, I found out it's called a leech jar. It could be used for potpourri or floating flowers, oil beads in the uh, bathroom a little bit of the gold I find I realized that is erased along the edge at the bottom nothing major it'll probably be priced between 20 and 25 dollars this one very nice red and gold probably mid-century. There is a little nick that I mentioned in the video earlier as well. No markings, but it's very lovely. I think it'll be probably again between $20 and $25. This one is very heavy. It's kind of a ruching effect on clear glass. Part of it is frosted. Very nice in good condition, no chips, in the neighborhood of 20 to $25. Here we have a nice brass etched vase. No markings. It's very nice little etch pattern of flowers here. It'll probably be priced between 20 and 25 as well. Here we have a vintage crystal from Mikasa in Maiden, Germany. It's a little wheelbarrow. could be used for a small succulent or some Easter eggs decorated, even some condiment. So that will probably be between 30 and 35. Let's not break the stuff, Rochelle, come on. Okay. Next, we have that relish sour cream dish. Very nice. The inside is very good condition as well. I have noticed, however, there is a small chip on the other side, it's at the bottom, I think. Yes, right there. There is a little chip. So I didn't notice that at the store. So that will lower the value. I'll have to do some research and <clears throat> find out, sorry, find out exactly how much I will price that. Next to it, we have a signed candle holder, like a pillar candle, Sherry S. Webb. 2007. It's made of teak. It, the inside is two inches and it will be priced between $25 and $30. Next we have the fruit little dish here. It is a transfer and it could be used for uh, change, pocket change or candies or even olives, and there is no marking, and there's a little spot underneath. It's in very good condition, very mild um, 
gold rubbed off a little bit, but still very, very cute pieces. Sorry, I can't talk today. The French just wants to take over. And uh, that will be priced uh, between $18 and $22. Here is uh, probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen this before. It's a cheese platter and it's made of ceramics, white, and it's about 11, there's no markings, and it's about 11 and a half inch across. That's perfect when you have visitors, little knife, and your block of cheese here. So that will be between 18 and $22. Here we have the latch and hook kit that I picked up. It did say complete, and sure enough, I looked inside, everything is complete, all you need, and it wasn't included with the, um, with the kit as indicated on the instructions that are below. There, uh, there's no hook included in the kit, so you have to get your own hook. It's 12 by 12 finished piece. That will probably go around 15 to 20 dollars. Next, we had that linen, um, it's a set of four, yeah, exactly four, yes, set of four linen embroidered napkins, very nice condition, cute little border, only thing is within the lights in the store are not always really that good, so when I got home, I looked carefully, and I did find the back of the fourth one here. There are a couple of spots. There's one right there and over here. So that will probably have a, um, an impact on the asking price, but still very, very nice condition. And last one is over here, a set of eight of the embroidered pink, very light pink linen, or probably, no, it's cotton, yeah, cotton napkins. Again, upon inspection at home, I did find a couple of little things. It's not in this one. It's over here, yeah, right here. The edge is very nice, very nice work. We can see it right here. There's a little spot there. And I think there was another one that I found right here. There we go. Hard to see, but it's there. So again, I will have to adjust the price uh, because of that. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to do a little bit of research. So this is the haul for today. That is... Um, going to be listed or is already listed on eBay. And uh, I will put below my eBay store name so you can find easily. And the link to my eBay and Etsy store will be also at the bottom of uh, the description. If you enjoyed this video, it would make me very happy if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you later. À la prochaine, tout le monde.